Oh man. <coughs> it's another it's another sense of what did I just watch? Another another anime of like this leave me like what did I just watch? Sheesh. Oh man. Okay. What 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 is my reaction to this? Oh, first of all, hey everyone, Kyle once again. And I uh, hope you and I hope you enjoyed uh, Anime Month. I thought I thought I would I thought I did pretty good for uh, for um from from last year's, but um I thought I did pretty good reviewing Anime. I hope you enjoyed. Um, my birthday month of June for every viewing for more of Anime Month. Got a lot more done than usual than I did last year. Got a lot more reviews done than I did last year. So to end off with and to end off with to end Anime Month June with uh, an anime series that I thought it is so over the top and hilarious the same ridiculous and hilarious over the top all at once. That tries taking itself that tries taking itself seriously. Although, yeah, it, do, it does try to take itself seriously, um, but at the same time, this is like fan service. Now, what I would say, what I say is a more. I think it's just, it's throwing fan service just for the sake of just for the sake of fan service. But at the same time, trying to take it, the enemy tries to take itself seriously. To me, at, the, at least it does. So, <laughs> but uh, I do well. My uh, bikini. I thought I like this. I thought I this better than Bikini Warriors because that was a story that that just went absolutely. Uh, each story that goes absolutely nowhere. No characters you don't know about. So, but <laughs> more of that. More on that. You can just check my rant on that though. By explain that. Very vaguely though, but the anime we're reviewing today, yeah, like I said, all this stuff, like I said, <laughs> is 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 of the 2016 anime series. It's once again based on a manga which I've never read, and that is of of a show called Keijo. <laughs> Keijo. Now. In this show, okay, or in the or in the or in the or the manga, but in the show too. Keijo is a woman's girl, a girl's sport, where it's like yeah, it's a it's a water it's a water sport where girls compete against each other, where they fight on. It's on the water, but they have like uh, different land types, right? Platforms, whatever. And it's supposed to knock your opponents either fall or knock them to the water. And they can only do this by using their their asses and their boobs. Yeah. Yeah, and th th that's basically the whole of the just for And we got our four main characters right here. They want to become. They go to the. They go to the shit. What was it? Shintoto School. Um. Yeah, it was. A, it was a school called the Shintoto. What was the thing that was called Shintano School? Of the because there's another one. There's another one of the east. So this is like the west because the albums released to the towards the end of the, the show a competition called the East West Wars. So the battle between like two different schools from one from the east, one from the west. But yeah, the Shinsaro School is what I think it was called. Is where our four main characters go to to um to train become good or to become Keijo pro Keijo players. You know to go pro right. And we have our lead character. By the name of uh, uh, Nozomi Kaminashi. 
Um, she does like she does like a little bit of gymnastic, a little bit of gymnastic stuff. But she wants to be ever since she was little, she wanted to become a pro uh, Kajo player. And she's joined by another uh, girl that um, by the name of uh, Sakika, uh, Sayaka Maeta, who uh, also uh, wants to become a, um, a fighter too, Kajo, a Kajo fighter. And then the later they meet the two uh, uh, two of the other roommates of where they're together with by the name of uh, Ob Alba and by the name of um, to uh, Togugushi. They're they're like you know for, for the for, yeah these are these are four main characters right here. So the other, so the course of this uh, show they're doing training, you know doing. Uh, they do the dudes do some uh, Keijo, uh battling and then also at the same time training. Now when it comes when it comes to them fighting on the land, that's what they call it. They call it the land. You know the platforms on the water. They call them the land. Um, it's so it's so over the top. When they, when they only they can, like you can only use their butts and their and their boobs, you know, to fight each other to knock them whatever knock them into the water, right? And and it's like how these girls like have, they some like some like some like supernatural powers in their these techniques that they do, <laughs> and just so they just do it. One is using the ones their asses very 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 fast, like going. <laughs> So figure out, it's like, like, what am I watching? I mean, <laughs> but I, I just cannot help. I just cannot help. But you can say I, 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 I like the series for its over the topness for what it is. I just cannot help, but I just think, but, but like the show for what, for what it is. Yeah, it's over. It's over the top, ridiculous, at the same time hilarious. But at the same time, it, it tries. It tries to make itself take itself seriously about this sport that is being done in this, uh, in this, in this show. So, like, um, like our, with our lead character, but uh, our lead character Kamanashi, she always wants to. Uh, be the wants to be the best and uh, be a pro and also the art of the one called Price Queen, and when she she develops a technique that um, another a former Kajo player who was the who was her instructor, where she where she was called the vacuum butt cannon. It's like a twisting of the hip technique, but um, uh, what was their uh, their uh, the teacher is um. Eg uh Ejib sorry if I get that wrong though but um you get a flashback that she used to be a pro cage player and she when she used that she injured herself but she but uh Kamenashi, she wants to learn this technique and make it her own as well so she agrees to that um and you and so like with the uh, uh, Maeta she's like a an out fighter like one you know one of there are, there are like three types of type of players, right? There's in fighters, there's out fighters, and then there's um, what was it? Counters. Well, me is an out fighter who who has like very fast speed and all that. Um. And you get a little backstory with with her that um, she used to do she her her, her father runs a judo. Her father's her father's a judo champion and. She, she was she was also a judo champion as well, and since she she told her father that um, she wanted to be a Keijo player, uh, her father really re really resented that. So you want you know the thing that she might be throwing her whole judo life away just to go and play some ridiculous sport like that, you know. So he 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 kind of resents her for that, and until later towards the end of the show where they get to the the big competition, which when her par her parents are there in the stands watching, and her father is watching, and at first these things like oh this is silly, this is ridiculous, but when Mieto started when uh, uh Mieto who is right here, 
when she starts losing, all the crowd starts cheering her on, and, and of course, when she defeats that one person who was, like, telling her, oh, you threw your whole judo life away, right, and one more when she gives herself, like, a wedge, she makes her, her suit right up, makes her, like, much stronger, or how is she won the flowers, she just do this with her, one of her moves, and then just knocked her out of the water. <laughs> and then her father was like, oh, you know, you were really good, you know. Uh, and I said, how do I describe what these what these girls use these techniques? You know, it's just like <laughs> it's just, it may sounds like wrong though, but it's just this is how the way the show is. <sighs> but but I don't want to. But I don't feel like I don't want to give that too much away in this show. But in this for this anime, but. Like, of course, when they go to another part of a different training camp, they meet with, they, they train with, with a couple of pro, uh, casual players as well. And, like, with, um, uh, the one, uh, pro casual player teaching, um, Kamanashi, like, to improve on her technique, like, they have a way for her, like, in a way, like, pulling turnips out of the ground to make her, uh, do better. Like, first she starts failing, but then, of course, we get the little bit of advice, and then she makes the whole, so it's pulling out one by one. And what else? And then it comes to the East Battle of the East West Wars, like the one the one the other school from the other school. You know, they talk talking talking shit about the one school where they're at and they wanna f start a fight, but they, the teachers stop them. Then when it comes to the competition, the East West Wars. Like the first round where uh, uh Mayata um and the other ones are uh, uh, fighting for one group. From one group, it's in it's in three rounds, because um, it's a mix of the eleventh uh, East West Wars. Because apparently the other school had won ten years straight, and uh, Shin Shinto's school where they're at have not yet won. So they think this is the the time they finally get to win one. So because the teachers have confidence in, the, in their students this year, they think they're they're going to win. So the and so the first round with Mita and on a couple of others on this jungle gym, and of course all the the one other uh, um, what was the the one name? Um, oh yeah, um, uh, was it a Ma 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 Mayo Mayo uh, Kuzakai? She's like one of the she was one of the like elite players in in the school and uh, like she's always always teasing and basically like fondling uh, basically fondling a uh, Ka Kamenashi. <laughs> like she before she for in a, in a back in the school she used like a little bit of for, forbidden technique like with her boobs and all that stuff but <laughs> like I said it's just it's just, it's just sounds so silly and ridiculous how the way I'm describing how the techniques they use in this. I, mean, I can't say I can't say I like. I can't help but like the like watching this this one because it's over the top. It tries to take itself serious seriously, and plus I think I think I I did like the lead the lead girl and um um my Mayata. Although honestly, although honestly I couldn't. Honestly, I've, I've made like, like the, the the main two leads here though, but overall, I honestly, did not care for like the rest of them. But like, mainly the other the other two main leads. I mean, the other one, uh, Alba, like her technique is like when she touch when, when she touches like other other girls' bottoms, like she kind of like reads like how what tech uh read their bodies or what techniques are they're doing and like once well, so she can like feel the wind with her hands when they're doing a, a training exercise and all that which that one is voiced by Alexis Timpton who like I for I aforementioned voiced a lot of enemies that I mentioned so and the other one um noon uh, Toga to Togagushi like she kind of like talks like a, with a, like a bit of a country accent but she's she's a, she's a bit of a she's a bit of a klutz and uh, like her special technique is like 
her ass is like so soft to kind of like bounces the other person who's attacking goes right back uh takes him right back you know when she they use when you attack on her her ass basically sends it's so soft that it bounces the other person's attack right back at them basically sends them flying and like each of these all of these players have like kind of like super <laughs> it shows like they have like supernatural powers and their techniques like this one girl it was actually voiced voiced by Jade Saxon, who actually met at last year's Fanime. Really enough, you know, Jade Saxon who voiced um, Kaneko from High School DxD, and um, what was the name of the character of the girl from uh, Haganagi? I don't have that many friends. But that character that she voices, like she has a technique that's called Cerberus, you know. And it actually shows like it makes a projectile face of a of a wolf head. <laughs> I mean that's what I mean. Like all, they have like these supernatural powers and their techniques, where they which where they named them. So, but uh, Mita like in the group and um, the other girl, they won the first round, second round. The other school wins it, and then the third round, which is with our league league girl. Um, Kamenashi, which all comes down, which they all they fought these other ones, but it comes down to the the, the lead, um, the top student of that other school by the name of was a Maya. Like, she has like a she has like a bit of a person. She has like a, a split personality because you got a backstory flashback when. She was like kind of like a little bit made fun of or mistreated by adults and kids until like the lead teacher of that um, other Keijo uh, school took her in and kind of raised her like this a bit of like her. She she calls her her mom, so you can say that raise her raise her as her own mother and her daughter, or whatever. But she has like a bit of a split personality, like the weaker side and the stronger side takes over. And but at the end of the day, Kamenashi, uh Wins beats her with their perfected, uh, improved vacuum buck cannon. And after that, they all say goodbye to each other. Then, until, uh, we see with, um, Mia Tai and Kamanushi, they, uh, enter the pros. So. And I did, uh, and I did like, um, the song, the, the, the finale song that was played at the end of the series. I did like, I did, I did kind of like that song. It was a little bit catchy. And I, but I also gotta give two credit. The animation, when the action, when the action fights are there with the animation, I thought it was well animated too. So, the voice cast I thought was pretty good as well. Um, it was uh, Amber Lee Connors of voices Kamenashi. I thought she did good. Uh, Felicia uh, Angeli, um, which I she's voiced in a lot of other ones as well. Uh, animes like Bento, which I reviewed. She voiced a Hiroshi, the one who was always writing those erotic novels. Devil's, uh, I'm gonna mention um, Devil's a part timer, which uh, she voiced Amelia the hero. Um, oh yeah, she she voiced in that piece of crap one, Bikini Warriors, is the one called Fighter. <laughs> But she voiced. She also voiced High School DxD, which said it was a debut role. Yeah, she did. Yeah, debut role. High School DxD. She voiced uh, Rainer or, or Yuma. You know, the one that the fallen angel that first killed um, Issei. You know, they were the one that for in the first episode they were going on a date, and then she revealed herself as to be as a fallen angel and killed him because the threat we have. Yeah, that was actually uh, Felicia. Uh, uh, Felicia. Um, Felicia Angel, who voiced uh, Rainer from High School DxD, yeah. And uh, Amelia, the hero from The Devil's a Part Timer, yeah. So she voices Mia too. I thought she did a good job too. Like Alexis, Alexis, Alexis Timpton, who, like she, her character doesn't doesn't talk that much, and you see that she gets a little bit shy. Yeah, but the, the but the voice with her was was good too. As for the as for the rest of the voice, <sighs> sorry. Um, as for the rest of the voice, cast thought was was fine too. So yeah, Kjo. <laughs> I don't know what I can say about Kjo. Like, I know I didn't, didn't describe much, but it's basically they they train. 
then into the, the competition, win, and then go to the pros. It's more in, that in a nutshell. But if you have, but if you haven't, seen, if you haven't seen this, I recommend you check it out. See if it's you know, if if I'm not wrong on this, all the over the top fan service that it, it tries to take itself seriously. I think it does, in my opinion. <laughs> that this on the sport here. <laughs> but if, if, hey, but if it was if anyone. Got, got, like us guys want to see girls fighting with their asses in 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 chests, you know. <laughs> this this is this is your kind of anime to watch. <laughs> but at the same time, I can't help but I can't help but have like f I have like fun watching this. Um, <laughs> like my brother, like my, my my brother, he um, uh, he uh, kind of while I was I kind of walked in when I was while watching this um. Uh, he took, he saw, like, a little glance of, of the show, and he was like, like, he isn't, my, like, my brother, he isn't, um, he's the one who hardly ever watches anime besides, like, Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh, right? And, I thought I figured, so, so, uh, uh, animes like this would interest him because of how the way he is, but, but actually, no, it's like that Paul opposite, like, I'm, he kind of says, I'm the one who has, who likes this stuff. I mean, I was saying, but I like the animation, I like the how certain the with characters and story goes. That's the reason why you watch anime for for good characters and good story, right? Even despite ones that have fan service. So, but yeah, it was a bit hit by my, my, his reaction was like price price is like oh, uh, you're into the he's like oh you're into that stuff huh? I'm like hey, it's. I'm I'm watching as as a show, not I'm here, not you're the. I'm sure a lot of those guys are watching it for fan service though, but I don't watch just a show just for the sake of fan service. I just watching see if, if I want to be entertained. That's what you all watch though, right? To be entertained. I don't watch it just for just for this just for the sake of fan service. I don't. If you're if you're the no knows why how I watch it, watch shows like that. I don't watch just just for the sake of one thing. But I'm sure that's one some other guys would like to think though, but so <sighs> But yeah. But if you have I haven't seen Keijo, just give it a watch. <laughs> if you have, just let me just let me know in the comments what you think of the show. But I say I can't help but have have fun watching the show. I thought it has some for the sake of it entertainment value to it. But as I said the voice cast I thought was the voice cast was good and um, the animation was was pretty so once again the animation is solid especially when the action is, when it comes to the the battling the action happens I thought it was solid too with the animation like the, the song like the song especially that was played at the finale of this uh, show I, I, I thought it was pretty catchy yeah um but yeah. K. Joe from twenty from twenty sixteen. Like I said, I haven't read the manga, but but if you but if you but if you've you seen it, just check it out and give it a watch. So, and that's basically that's the conclude for anime anime month. So, I hope you all enjoyed this month of an for anime month for of June for my birthday month slash slash birthday month. So, yeah, you know how, how much how many how many. Hours I committed, you know, trying to you know, get this all at anime month done. So it's been a lot of hard work. So, <laughs> but at the end, it pay at the end, it's, it paid off well. So, where I end anime month on a on an over the top one. And I forgot to mention it's really quick before I end it. Just really quick. I for, it's really quick before I go. I just just to mention how you uh, usually a lot of animation have like are sponsored by one thing. Well, and when, well, I know this is sponsored by um, from Funimation, which they always do a pretty good job with uh, anime shows like these. But um, but yeah, sometimes you don't see like well-known studios get involved, though. I mean, this one here, this anime in particular, is sponsored by. If you can see that right there, sponsored by Warner Brothers. I don't know if anyone cares though, but I just it just got my it is got my interest. Like, oh, really? <laughs> a fan service like over the top water. Uh, sport like this, right? Is is uh, that something that Warner Bros. is involved with? 
I mean, that got my interest. I mean, Warner Bros. got involved with with an anime like this. I mean, I know they were involved with Pokemon and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! as well. Or hell, even um, even um, um, Helsing Ultimate. That's a, a um, Universal is involved with that anime, which is surprisingly. So yeah, so, so I guess the big name studios like Universal can be involved, or even hell, even Warner Brothers. So yeah, Universal's with uh, like with Helsing Ultimate. Warner Brothers goes with the with K Joe. <laughs> it's really if I didn't I know it's just, I just. I don't know why, it just got me interested why I saw the Warner Bros. logo, really. Uh, when I saw the show, really, Warner Bros. was involved in a type of anime like this. <laughs> I guess that got my interest enough, so. But yeah, but that's my review for Keijo. I can't help but have like f uh, f guilt a fun, guilty pleasure um, entertainment value out of this, so. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. Let me know in the comments what you think. And I hope you enjoyed Anime Month. I thought it's been a fun ride for me just to get all these all these done. And we just and yeah. But I think I'll be taking a break after this because I did like throughout the whole month of that's why I didn't do much for May because I was busy doing pre recording all these videos. It was like tw over tw like twenty I did. It's pretty exhausting, so <laughs> thought I'd take a thought I'd take a break after this while well, from making videos. Well, probably one or two here and there, but not much though, because I'll be do, uploading these for June. I've been uploading for these for June, so that's why I had no. It is taking a break because I had to upload a video for June. So, but anyway, more on that though. That's my review for K Joe. I had fun with. I I kind of I had over the top fun with it. But I hope you enjoyed anime month, and I can't wait for the next for the next time though. But thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next uh, movie review and more other videos still to come later.